the 18. Eilman now working in, right at the 18, sends a cross into the six, a header, and it's a gentle header off the head of Shahovskoy and an easy save for Diffenbach. That's a very solid cross from Eilman, but the problem was it wasn't really within the grasps of Shahovskoy. She'll get into the offensive zone as she'll try to lead a pass in for Sayer. Sayer now stepping over Vo. she'll fire it in, right post, and a save made by Adams as she swats it out, and it'll be another corner kick for the Royals. No score, a couple opportunities for both squads, but now here's an opportunity for the Quakers coming in. Eilman, left post side, hard shot, it's going to bounce off a of Diffenbach, and she's able to smother it on the far post. That's probably the best chance either squad's had this afternoon. Left of the 18, backing it up, Matthews. Or trying to charge it now, an opportunity coming in, a chip, shot going in, left post, they score! Gabriel Wachowicz, right off the bat, off a bouncing ball. It almost seemed like it was slow motion for a second, but she was able to chip it over the head of Diffenbach. It happened so slowly, it was almost kind of hard to keep up. Wachowicz gets her first goal of the season and breaks the ice on the board to make it 1-0 only one minute into the second half. Shahuf scoring now the one touch. Taylor now getting a dribble into the 18 on the right side. She'll fire it away. A high shot and a save made by Diffenbach. Seventh shot thus far for the Quakers, all of which have been on goal. And that might be the only final we get in conference if we're fortunate on a day like this. Alman crossing it into the six. Oh, right at the center of the six, they score. Anderson came flying in on another cross from Bree Eilman, coming in from the center. And Ashley Anderson getting the Quakers' second goal for the first time in 2009. That's the way you break the ice. Anderson's first goal and the second assist from Eilman. 19 minutes left in the second half. It's 2-0 Quakers. Who steps in front of it to knock it down? She'll gently roll it out. Beckler will get an opportunity on the right side. And one touch pass opportunity. Sayer, she'll cross it into the top of the six. They score. An easy goal coming in off the pass from Sayer. And the Royals get back into this contest. I believe it was Shiflet at the center of the six. And don't look now. The Royals have opened up this match. And it's now 2-1 Quakers. They're going to play to this buzzer. Four seconds remaining. The Royals trying one last gasp. And that's going to do it. The Quakers able to earn a 2-1 victory over the Eastern Mennonite Royals.